Greetings and welcome to this week's edition of the Bethany Worldwide Briefing. I'm Dr. David Haas, President and CEO of Bethany, and I'm pleased to bring you some updates of things happening at Bethany here in the United States and around the world. Our first update is a heartwarming one that shows how the Lord leads people at any age. Last week, Savannah Swan decided she wanted to help her dad, Jamie Swan, the Senior Vice President of Bethany International, by raising money for our new Welcome Center on campus where construction is underway. She rallied her two siblings, the four kids of Bethany Global University's Dean of Men, Eric Simmons, and other neighboring friends to have a bake sale outside of our international headquarters. The kids made some signs, baked treats, and were very successful in their sales. I even purchased a sugar cookie. The goal was to raise $100 and they blew past it by bringing in $132. They even took the time to personally deliver their earnings to me in my office. It truly was a precious moment. Uh, praise God for these children, their heart for Bethany, and the desire to help at such a young age. We're excited to report that new construction is underway at the Welcome Center. We had paused construction uh, in the past and it is now underway again. We're really praying that we have an opportunity to open the new Welcome Center by August 15th and you can join us in that prayer. Our Bethany International team is also finding new ways to innovate and help our national partners around the world be more effective in their ministries. This spring we launched a pilot program that's ongoing, coaching opportunities for the leaders we work with overseas. We started with our partners in Nepal who are using our training materials and what they've learned to equip their own church planters working in remote areas among different unreached people groups. As the pilot project continues and the coaching program is formed, we plan to implement the training in multiple countries. It's all to see our workers and partners become more effective in making disciples who make other disciples in places that have never heard of Jesus and have limited access to the gospel. Please join us in praying for these exciting efforts that are underway. Uh, this week at the International Headquarters, we welcome many of our global workers to campus for our annual Bethany International Global Workers Retreat. This event encourages, supports, and ministers to all the global workers who are able to attend. Next week, we'll bring you some reports of things that took place during the Global Workers Conference and some pictures as well. God bless you guys this week as you continue to pursue the Lord here at the International Headquarters. Tomorrow, Tuesday, we'll have optional prayer and fasting that happens every week as we continue to look for the Lord to guide us and direct us and see the move of the Holy Spirit through all that God is doing here and around the world at Bethany. God bless you. Have a great week serving the Lord.